Right, so I'm back to doing these again. Uh, I'm just going to do the quick setup time. Get as much, get everything upgraded as much as possible, and try and get to the point. And just show how much you can get done before the round actually starts, because it's important to know what levels you can get your buildings to. Uh, I'm not sure if you need to pick up that metal pack or not. Depends on teammates' suicides and stuff. Generally, for this map, you want to build here. I will show off some of the spots in a moment after I've got everything up as quickly as possible. So I'm just keeping an eye on the corner for that metal pack to respawn, and she'll be back by the time I get there. Mission begins in 30 seconds. That dispenser spot's generally a comp spot. Um, it varies in effectiveness. You can have a heavy there instead. I'm just gonna try and get everything out and operated now. So this gun's gonna be level three before the round even starts, and everything else is gonna be level one. So you want to get a teleport or at least to level two generally, because you kind of need it for. Uh, Effective teammate Three, transport, especially two, when they're uh, if your teammates start dying, it's a long walk to the point. You need it to be in level two. So by the end of this, I've got a level three sentry, a level one dispenser, and a level two teleport roundabouts, and the metal pack keeps respawning all the time. Right, I'm gonna put this into tournament mode, and then I'm going to show off an incredibly large amount of different spots you can build sentries and teleporters and dispensers. And I have to type in restart as well. Right, so now we're in tournament mode. I've got all the time in the world to describe these spots. So, this sentry spot, it's decent, but as your standard pub, might be questionable effectiveness because the Wrangler did get nerfed. Well, sentry, sentry's got bullet fall off, so like the heavy's minigun, it starts doing less and less damage at range. So same for the sentry, it'll do a minimum of 8 I believe, but at that range I believe it'll do about 10 or 11, I think generally, oh, right up close it'll do 18, it used to be 16 damage throughout the board but it got changed to be variable. It'll do 18 right up close I believe and then falling off to about 16 in normal range. Outside of the Wrangler range it goes from 16 to 15 to 14 to 13 and so on, until down to 8. Depending on how far back against that wall they'll stand it might do about 8 damage. Um, the sentry rockets do between 150 to 50, depending on the distance. That's the distance from the sentry, not the engineer. It used to be from the engineer, which made the rockets really powerful if you fired them and they hit someone while you were standing next to them. Um, a flaw with this spot is that demo men can come down there and spam up, and I believe the gun will shoot at them if it can see them, but you need to have it right on the edge. And it's really, really picky because you can see I'm on the actual ground now, but it will only build until there. Move it further back, I believe it will build slightly better. But then once again, the Wrangler issue comes in. Um, any further back than this is kind of pointless because you won't be able to cover that further area. Uh, this dispenser spot's not bad. Uh, down there by the health kit, it's not a bad idea. Um, the tele exit can be either up there or here. Generally, I like keeping my buildings within my own line of sight on like the same plane. If you know what I mean by pl well, plane's an odd word. On the same level of high ground. So if someone saps my teleporter up here, I'm on the same level as him, so I can deal with him potentially, and then unsap the teleporter instead of being down here where he can sap it. And when I'm hopping down from the sentry. I have to go down here, and he's going up the stairs to sap the sentry, so now I've got two buildings sapped, and they're nowhere near each other. Um, varying success with teleporters there. Teleporter on the actual metal pack is not bad. The dispenser could go here. A sentry here is more likely to be destroyed by Ubers coming up the cliff, but it's you're out of sniper sightlines at this, pretty much, because the sentry has enough range to cover up to... if the damn blueprint wasn't in the way see it slightly better. It covers up to that rock, there's only that very small area there that will actually uh, get you shot at. It does actually cover car track at this angle, but it doesn't cover it particularly well. Um, that'd be down to your teammates, but this will hold the upper ground for you pretty much altogether. I'll try and show off the car track now. So you see where the doors shut going up onto the roof. You can see that the center will cover most of that area and it does fire and shoot at a very awkward angle hitting people down there 
it doesn't do it for long though, so if they push the car track through it won't last long. Um, so, all the spots I've seen with varying effectiveness I'm moving this. is here. Uh, obviously this covers most of this left hand side here. If anybody comes up to even this health kit here, they'll be shot by it. It doesn't cover the upper area, that's the flaw with that. And one of my favourite things to do on barn blitz, and the reason, I might have pointed out the spot, I don't remember, but the sentry spot behind the rock on the first point, one of my favourite things to do is, a soldier, is hop over the rock and just spam down onto the engineer while I'm in midair, because the sentry takes a long time to track upwards. Um, that's why bombers on cop games, bombing demo man and stuff, find it quite easy to fly across, because the sentry won't shoot them until he's high enough off. And if people are coming over that rock, you've got literally no time to react, unless you can hear them rocket jumping, which will be unlikely. Um, but yeah, I've seen sentries built here with dispensers about here and teleporters next to them, or anything like that. Um, I've seen small amounts of success with a sentry here, um, or set slightly further back so it can't be seen from that upper cliff area, but it will cover the car track. This spot might not be bad actually, but you have the problem of spies potentially just doing a little bunny hop and sapping. Um, there's down there for a sentry, which isn't bad, but once again it's cover, not coverage, and uh, it's kind of flawed. This first point is, uh, I don't know about hard to hold, but it can be, depending on how the team presses it. If an Uber comes up that cliff and you've got no pyro with you, you're probably going to lose this sentry. Unless you're quite good with the rescue range and the wrangler and the heavy's not aggressive. Um, an interesting teleport spot, or even sentry spot is the fact that you can build here. Uh, I don't think the sentry covers much because of the rock there, the slightly raised one, but that's a weird teleport spot that you don't see people using very often. Um, other than that, you can always build on top of the rocks here. I don't know. This. Can't build on this rock. I believe you can build on those rocks. Oh, oh, hold on. That there wasn't getting any you can build on this rock, but... You can be sniped from that lower left area down there, and if anybody comes up the cliff, you'd have to be covering sort of there and there. Same sign, it's got, you've kind of got to switch between them, and you'd have to be wrangled because anything down there is out of range, and this doesn't cover cart. Um, other than that, various dispenser spots, you can have it over there with your team. Uh, it does. It's not a bad idea, if you've got an engineer up here holding the cliff, it's not a bad idea to have a sentry down there. Or sort of in that general area or a dispenser down there because teammate it's only a smaller health than a medium metal um, if someone's covering the cart track for you you're gonna need heals and a single small health kit isn't gonna cut it because the respawn time's too long on it uh, other than that I'd say that's probably first point pretty much done the sentry that I recommend is either here or over there because over there it'll do all the work for you, over here you have to wrangle a little bit to cover that. But it's set further back so if an uber comes around that corner you've got more time to sort of spam it out. And uh, block the shots and stuff. Uh, and it'll take the heavy obviously, a lot longer to come up there. Generally it'll be a heavy uber. Um, demo ubers on this map would come up where... Like I said, the only flaw with this one is that it doesn't cover car, car track particularly well and a demo man can just stand about here and spam up. It's there's another point similar to that, but I don't recall what it is exactly. Um, I did something interesting with the teleporter on that metal box that I will show somewhat later. It's in a different video, and I'll link it in the description at like the right timestamp and stuff. Up. Uh, but what I'm going to suggest is something you can do on point two. Hopefully this will work. Oh, SV cheats on. My apologies, I'm a professional. And you don't have no clip yet, genius. Oh good, you can haul and fly at the same time, and this saves a lot of effort. Ooh. Right, so, I need to get out of no clip so I can see what the hell I'm doing. So, second is your standard roof defense. Uh, there used to be a spot where my crosshair is now that you could build up there, which was pretty cheaty cheaty. But that's been patched out. Patched out quite a while ago. Um, so the sentry just goes about here, hopefully you ideally want it so it can rotate and cover these back stairs or better yet you'd have teammates covering these back stairs because that's one of the easier ways to get this gun down is either come up the back stairs or come out that side door. Uh, 
The spot's not bad, but ooze and stuff will flush you out pretty easily. Uh, you've got the whole build on top of the grating here. I'm going to use the sentry as a stepping stone, but usually you use your dispenser. You can build up here and show with an exit. So you can build a teleport or exit up here and get teammates funneling out, and it's quite difficult for a heavy to destroy it. So soldiers will have no issue with it or anything like that, but heavies will have a very hard time hitting this because it's a, such a low down platform. A uh, low down spot, for that matter. Um, another thing you can do, other than holding this roof, which there's not that much variation in this spot because you don't really have any other options other than building on the roof, or it's potential for you to build in this lower area here, but it's very close quarters. If once they know it's there, an Uber coming down those stairs will completely destroy it. Also, spies will have a field day stair stabbing you if you go anywhere near this stairwell. Um, there's been... I've seen sentries here, or about here, I don't know, I don't think you can build on top of this pile of rubble, but in this corner, having somewhat successful attempts, but you can't really uh, cover roof from there. It will cover the cart, and I'm going to try something stupid here. And I failed miserably. Well, so I didn't try. So now I'm nearly dead, and uh, that's good. One of the things you can do with this map is... Because this back area is so wide open, you can do some sneaky stuff with teleporters. And that's what I'm going to link in the video below, but it was on the first point. But you can do the same idea, you can have an exit Teleporter coming here. Right I need more metal, really. Um, I'll build this and just move it around. I should really like figure out the cheat command for infinite metal. I've had it before. I'm moving this. So you can leave it unactivated so it just doesn't draw any attention. Here, up there is not bad. Uh, there's a gate here but once point two is captured this will be opened. So you can potentially build up here, in this corner here, and when they cap third I believe they get the spawn here, which is currently locked off and weird door clipping issues. Can I get metal from this? No. But yeah, once third's captured, they will get that spawn. I believe it's third. Yeah, it's third. Because it's a long, long walk from uh, first to third. And that's one of the things you want to do as an offensive engineer to build a teleporter. I'm moving this. So, second point, there's only really there, there, but you can do dirty stuff with the teleporter around the back. And I will link a video of me sneaking around with it. With a uh, level three from this point in here. Uh, my teleporter was still, the entrance and exit was still activated. And I still had it on that large metal pack over there, so I got to be a dick. Uh, third point is kind of a weird one that you need the Wrangler again. There's the upper loft area here. You don't see this spot too often, and I don't recall why exactly. But it's not a bad one. I think it's because it barely covers the cart track and has a weird sort of angling on it. But it does cover the that's known as boiler over there because there's a great big boiler in it. It does cover the boiler room quite easily if you look in the radial thing, if I can get it to pop up in this bit of wood here. It covers almost all of the boiler room I believe. Um, I think a sniper could potentially peek that, I don't know. And it also covers the left side there. I think it's because it, this gun goes down quite easily to Ubers. Um, this is a relatively common spot. Once again, kind of flawed for the lack of coverage. Uh, and Ubers will sort of level this pretty easily, but outside of that it's not a bad one. You can have people drop down behind you though and rocket it. And I've done that a couple of times. Um, the personal one that I use if you get time to build on third, because once second gets wiped generally you get steamrolled pretty quick and it can be quite hard to get into this house. You need to get as close to the window as possible so your uh, sentry actually shoots over the windowsill. Uh, this is especially true when it's a level 2 because it barely as you can see, it raises up ever so slightly at the level 2. Um, but you do need the Wrangler to shoot down at cart track, but that is a good spot and very hard to push out if you do it well. Uh, you can put a dispenser on these stairs to prevent, prevent spies getting up here. As you can see, I can't get around this here, and if you come from the other side, there is literally no way you can get up into this loft area unless you're a soldier or a demo. And one of the things that I've seen in lobbies is that soldiers will hop across here and shoot the sentry out of that window. That's one of the better ways to counter it, but if your team 
knows what they're doing, you'll have a pyro up these stairs with you, more than likely. I'll just blow that up to get out of the way. So this will completely block the stairs and it also gives your teammates healing if they need somewhere to retreat to. And they can hide underneath the sentry gun, kind of. Uh, one thing you have to watch out for is snipers peeking it there, because they can quite easily snip, uh, sneak around that corner and get a cheap shot off on you. Uh, you can't really see much with the sentry here as well, you have to kind of peek next to it or on top of it, which is a bit of a pain in the ass because it makes you quite vulnerable. Uh, you can either look from the left hand side, shoot there. Uh, people are generally pushed through that house and if it's a heavy uber they're not going to kill the sentry gun if you're using rescue ranger wrangler. Even with just the stock wrench I think you'd be alright with the wrangler. Um, then when the uber fades you obviously let the sentry free fire or you shoot yourself. It's personal preference really. Uh, you can cover all the way down to the bottom of that cart track quite easily. Snipers can peek it down there, you've got to be wary of that, but if they drop down there it can be quite difficult for them to hop out, so you can punish them for all that. Uh, I build a teleporter exit about here, generally, so you get a nice funnel of teammates coming through. And uh, I don't recall if the spawns move too much, I don't think they do, so they'll still spawn in that upper room, so as long as you keep that entrance up on that side, as long as it doesn't get sapped, you can have a constant supply of people coming up from uh, that particular room all the time from any point pretty much. You don't need it on fourth obviously because the spawns right there. Um, I'm being messaged about arena mode. Uh, I will just go offline real quick. Discuss that later. Um, but yeah, after that you've got your third point somewhat covered. There's this area here that's not bad. There's the lower area that's okay. Uh, that spot in this windows, it's kind of awkward because I believe if you build a gun to level 2 it has a hard time shooting over the actual window unless you put it right up close. I'll try and get this leveled up quickly. So as you can see here, you literally can't shoot at this window unless you're aiming at about there because it's a level 1. So you need this gun to be at least level 2 for it to be effective. I need this metal. So at level 2 it can shoot out the window but as you can see, it just about does the cart track down there, and then you get any closer than that, and it just doesn't do it anymore. Uh, the problem, the reason that is, is because the sentry gun does actually get slightly higher up on the third upgrade. So as you can see here, it's sort of relatively low down. You hit it again, and it gets an extra tripod mount at the back, and it pushes it up a little bit. So now I can shoot all the way down to, all the way down to here. I can literally hit the point with rockets. So you do need a level 3 gun in this window ideally. Uh, 2 is acceptable if you're in a rush, but level 3 is uh, one of the better options. Uh, I've seen some success with, as a fallback, actually I've got another point for point 3. This is not a bad spot, but if a spy comes up here, and or a soldier starts peeking the corner, it can be very difficult to defend against because you've got your back against the wall here and he will just kill you with splash damage and then take down the sentry. Um, this isn't a bad one though, but you can be sniped from that window if you're paying attention. Um, I've used this to great effect actually. Uh, this particular spot here, if you build it far enough forward, you can quite easily have it cover the point, that upper area, and that's about it. That's all you need to cover really because it's a corner and there's no real easy way around the sentry. There's no flank route past this point until you get to map room there or what's known as tires back there because there's tires. And because of that it can be quite difficult to push this corner unless there's an uber and even then unless the entire team piles around with them you can probably hold back a heavy with a bit of wrangler, rescue ranger and wrench if you combine it right. Um, when thirds capped which if you're building here they probably capped it and the cart might be blocking the way a little bit. Um, you can build a dispenser in, I'll just use the tele entrance as an example because it's the same width. Build a dispenser there and a tele exit in there to get your sub uh, resupplies and backup coming through quickly. Uh, there is an interesting spot here that I've never really used, but I've seen it done to great effect and that went far too high. You can build on top of this, which can be quite effective because it's an odd position and it covers quite a lot of the payload track down there and it'll cover the little window there as well so if anybody peeks that they're in trouble. Uh, you can get up here and take a lot less damage if you sentry jump correctly I just did it poorly and the lazy man's way. 
So that's not a bad spot for third if third's capped and you're backing up to the fourth if you've got time to do it. The problem is with that spot is that it takes a little bit of effort and time. And if your gun's gone down, you can't really... Well, you can get up there with a level one, but then you need to rescue ranger it unless you can send a jump haul, which is... You can do it with a level three, but you can't really do it with a level one. I'll attempt to demonstrate that now. I'm going to need the dispenser, though, because it's going to kill me if I don't. Uh, I'll probably fuck this up, but I'll try and show it off just for the sake of showing it off. Uh, I know you can do it on swift water, somewhat, easily. Up. So I brought this down here. So the way this works is you want to ideally stand in front of the sentry, wait for its rockets to be done, and then you need to hit 3 and right mouse after you've hit right mouse to fire the rockets. Moving out. And I did that too early, it's probably going to fire rockets at me. Uh, I'll give it one more attempt and then I'll just leave it to the pro of pros. And I didn't right click quick enough. Uh, I will... I'll try that one more time just for the sake of trying to show it off, but... You need to practice it, it's a technique that's relatively... I don't know, I'm just pretty poor at it, I've never been particularly good at rocket jumping or anything like that, so... Sentry jumping is another sort of... You want to see the name of the sentry, ideally, when you, when you do it. See, I'm doing it a little bit too early there, and it's just picking it up. Uh, in MVM and stuff, it'll fire rockets after you've done that. Right. There you go. So did a little short hop there with the sentry. So you can see the glitch that wrangler down below. This may shoot. Yeah, it fires rockets when it's been unwrangled again by itself. I did not right click there. So you can like sentry jump up there. That'll save you using 130 metal. Say so up there with 200 metal, but you're down a bit of health. You can get a telly up there and a dispenser up there. There's room for all three of them. Um, fourth point. I. I've never seen anybody really hold the tired area, particularly because it's completely away from the cart track, although it does prevent a flank. Um, building up there, I've never really seen tried. And honestly, it could be effective, but then you've got this whole little area that people can peek in and out of and strike the sentry. Um, personally, I've seen people build a map room if there's a backup sentry covering the actual point, and that's not a bad idea because once they gain map room, they have quite a big advantage because soldiers will pop up behind there. Whilst it's next to a spawn point, snipers generally only stand up there, so they'll kill the snipers and start spamming your sentry out. That's something I generally do when I'm playing soldier. Uh, there's two or three spots that I use on this map. Potentially a fourth. Now that's got a view of that, I'm guessing. Yeah. That window snipers can shoot out of because it's completely broken open. Because glass is bulletproof in uh, the TF2 universe, unless it's been removed by itself. Or by just map makers, which is perfectly logical, you know. 50 cal rounds and all that. Um, so, personally, I generally have the sentry about here. It'll cover the map room if you position it correctly, which I don't know if I have here or not. And I generally like to keep it a little bit away from this corner because if a pyro comes around, you can kind of sneakily edge it because the flamethrower's got a weird hitbox and it'll let you burn sentries around corners. Uh, if it was any closer, it'd probably be in flamethrower range. Uh, about here we'll shoot at the actually map room windows and it'll generally detect if anybody's up there. You have to wrangle for anybody up there and you sort of have to duke around. I've had a bit of success with doing something like this when uber pushers have come in. Uh, you can build under here but then if an uber comes out of map room you'll be completely trapped in pretty much unless you do what I'm about to do. Uh, I've had limited success with this. It's a picky little thing because the rescue range is weird and teleporters are weirder. So, if you get a bit of break, this is something I've done in comp before, if you get a bit of a break, you can attempt to sneak away with the rescue ranger and whilst the Uber's coming in and stuff. They'll break the teleporter and the dispenser, obviously, but that's a risk you have to lose. So, say you've tanked the Uber for a little bit, and your sentry's about to go down, you can potentially quick switch to the rescue range, get on the telly, and make a quick escape. This sentry spot, it's good for a very last minute defense, because people don't look here. They don't expect a sentry to be here. Uh, if someone comes down the stairwell, though, you're in deep crap, really, because this is a blind spot. And you can't really move it any further down without it being able to, unable to shoot. Uh, about here is probably the maximum sort of range that it'll be able to shoot. Uh, the turrets and everything just about clip over that, and I believe they'll hit everything. In fact, you can test with the Wrangler. Yeah, they'll pretty much sweep the entire area here. 
uh, the obvious flaw with, that, with this is that map room, whilst the shutters aren't open at the moment, you can't really tell, but when map room opens up, you can be spammed out from there from this angle, so you ideally want to be underneath there where the sentry will shoot for itself. Uh, that's just a sneaky escape route that you can potentially use. Uh, it can vary in successfulness because obviously uh, people will take your telly for no reason, there'll be spies, and they can sap it. People will target the telly because your sentry and dispenser are right next to you and you can keep both of them repaired, but if someone shoots from up there, if the soldier's spamming down here, he will hit two of your buildings or just the one and unless you're quite good and he's taking his time with reloads and stuff you've got to try and micromanage keeping your sentry, your dispenser and your telly up all at once. Uh, keeping the sentry up is easy because of the wrangler, everything else you can't really put a uh, shield that gives you three times damage resistance. Three times damage? Yeah, if, you're, if your sentry's got 216 health the wrangler gives it 648 theoretically. But obviously the wrangler can go down and mess with it. Um, other than that, uh, I've never really built over here. Generally, my choice of spots are there, there, or over here for fourth. Um, actually, there's the fourth spot up there. I don't see use very often. Uh, I believe this just about covers map room, and it does cover car. I don't know. Um, I don't remember the sentry spot too well. I've only ever seen. I've, very rarely seen it used. I don't actually use it myself and I don't know how effective it is. I've never seen it used in Highlander or anything like that, but in pubs I've seen it a couple of times. Um, just, yeah, that'll cover map room at that and I believe it covers the cart track down there if you can rotate it on purpose. Yeah, you can see it covers the cart track down there, but it's obviously got the whole uh, lean down time and everything. And once again comes the problem of unless you've got your usual 10 snipers standing there, and yes I'm going to keep increasing the numbers till it becomes absolutely ridiculous, uh, you can sort of peek this quite easily and I believe if you hit it with a rocket there or there you can kill it with a splash uh, and I believe it has a blind spot about here, let's see yeah I've turned my back and you can see if I was wrangling, if the wrangler was working properly I should be able to see the dot on the wall here, yeah it can only shoot up to here and I can see the sentry from here and hit it. Can't tell if I'm hitting it or not because it's not damaged. Uh, I believe I am though. But if you can get line of sight and you can see the name and everything, I can move it from here. You can probably shoot it as well. Uh, rocket's a little bit awkward. Um, I'm not going to do mini sentry spots or anything like that, but uh, I'm just going to point this one out for the sake of it. On our fence, if you want to be a dick, put a mini here because it will cover that left side and it will cover the entirety of that lower area. Uh, doesn't do that far out, but it's a mini sentry, you know. It's going to be annoying enough, even if it's only up for 0.2 seconds. Anyway, um, I will show off one other random spot that I know about. Other than that, it's there's not much really to show on this one, other than the super secret telly spot that I showed back there. Those pipes are weird and you can clam around on them. There's this, but I doubt it's much good for anybody who's uh, playing engineer or anything like that, because you've got a straight shot at the... Uh, area over there and I believe you can just crouch jump around yeah so if you sniper or something like that getting over there and sniping people who pop that corner can be something that they won't suspect probably uh, that door does open as does that one I believe when I think it's third gets captured because you only have that spawn over there to start with um, other than that getting rid of this telly well it's not here at the moment but as an engineer I will leave my teleporter here at all times. If you break the entrance, unless I have to, unless I die and respawn, getting rid of this will completely and totally halt any sort of support that I get. So, if you're a down man, sticky jump round, spam some pills. Uh, I'm not about sticky jump and not sticky bomb launcher because you'll probably nearly die if you try that because sticky bomb launcher does like a billion damage to you. This is an example on first point. Soldier rocket jump around and smack it with the market guard. I don't know, if, I don't know what kind of soldier you're playing or a shotgun. Uh, getting rid of that teleporter, if you sat both ends as well, will greatly sort of limit my ability to run people around this map because I will use that teleporter entrance for first, second, third, and as well as the old sneaky teleporter around that back area somewhere. I'm not specifying where exactly because I don't really use it that often. Uh, I will put the video that 
I did do the teleporter thing, but it was over by the metal pack and their team just neglected to uh, actually just stop me. And it allowed me to build a sentry about here, and they were spawning only there. So it became quite a bother for them. They did have some very good players though, who one of them was rocket jumping so quickly he actually got out of range of the sentry. And turned around and started spamming it out. But I did get a fair few kills from it, so it's not a bad idea if you want to be an easy cheesy engineer. Other than that, yeah. Um, any suggestions? Feel free to leave them. Uh, I wouldn't really... I don't know about that for a sentry spot. I've seen them built in there before, and can be slightly hindering, but you can just push, push the cart under them, although a teleporter will sort of slow it down. Uh, and if you get trapped in there, you're trapped for good. An Uber will just sweep you out of there. I've uh, never really seen them built up there because the boiler room, you can sort of just flank it and peek it because the walls are weird in there. I'll show you. These gates will both be open, by the way, if you get in this far. So, a sentry built up here wouldn't be bad, but you'd have to leave it sort of back here to actually do anything effectively, and it's only a tight corner there. Um, that's not a bad one, actually. It might be worth trying, but then you've got the whole... They can peek from this flank, and the whole problem of spies. Uh, there's nothing really much more I can show with this map, to be honest. Um... I'll call it that and I'll do some live stuff. What are these? I build on these. I'm building these. Oh god! Well, you can still build out of the map if you can somehow get over to these things. This is interesting. Anyway, I'll cut it here and I'll uh, go to some live stuff. I'm gonna die for fault now. Just invisible war. TF2's weird. And I like the fact that they do like little diagram. Hold on, I wanna show this for no reason. It's a little diorama style, uh drop back for the uh, little diorama styles the maps for the drop backs this is how they render the like massive amount of backgrounds look you can even see the little tiny train tracks over there and the actual map the train track things are as I fly through the world this is completely pointless by the way you don't have to listen to any of this oh god that's those trains the uh, train tracks with the carts on over there you have these little tiny dioramas outside the map to render all of this fancy stuff isn't that cool I don't know how it works exactly, but it's very impressive. Anyway, uh, I've rambled too much. Live stuff. Go. Transform into a foot with your ass wrapped around it. Scientists in the future have studied your ass for centuries and sent me back in time to kick it. Come with me if you want to live with me in my apartment. I need a roommate. Try and get an injury guard here. There's three of us, but I'm just trying to make it work. I don't know why I'm doing the resupply lock on oh, because there's more energies. This is gonna win. It's gonna end my chances of actually getting any footage of this. Come on, fellas. And I'm slow. I'm so very slow. Sentry going up. And that's Thunder Mountain passed, so that's gonna change the end of this level, so that's uh, any chance of getting any footage of this other than what I've got. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Help me! If only I could get some of these suicides. Mission begins in ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this is hard. Keeping shit suppressed. And sniped if I'm not careful. I see the sniper, don't worry about that. Thank you, spy. Oh my god, what the fuck? He doesn't like me. Busy being dead. Keep the telly up though. Wrong telly. Right, 
Fucking serious. You're gonna get fucking wrecked. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm surrounded by idiots. Well, it's probably time to get on second. I didn't really get a chance to build anything up to a decent level, although this engineer seems to be doing the job for me. I'll try and take Telly. Try and salvage first. Oh, I regret that. Nothing surprising there. Uh, I'm gonna go build on the roof, I think. Oh, there goes my entrance. Let's see if I can get to second quickly. Gotta move that gear up. It's this playing medic guy is just completely destroying everything in his mother. Put that here. There's a demo coming up. Just gonna peel my sentry instantly, probably. <sighs> this team. Just work. let people walk in. Sniper ready. Power's on the roof. I'm dead. This is uh, this is an example of how to get completely and totally rolled on bad water. Pretty good one. But uh, I might get a good up on third, maybe if I'm quick. If I'm lucky and quick. Tally's up. All three. Let's go get third. Probably get killed by a smile on the way there. Playing medic is fun too, is just murdering our entire team because backburner pyro. See how far forward they are. Okay. Oh, hi! Hi! Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, you're killing me again. That's good. Hey, buddy. It's getting slightly depressing. I gust, I guessed. Words are hard. There's an Uber. Walk this way. This is uh, another nice failed attempt. Hi, Demo. Let's fight. Mm, nope, she's mind. Well, that's fourth. Let's go build over here. Oh, someone's breaking my tele entrance. He's all the way out of that spawn. Cool. Let's build here. Terrible spot. Whatever. Hey, oh, Demoman. Hey, Demoman. One day, someone on their team will be able to end pills. I wonder if I can get to that sentry. Probably not. Kaboom! Yay, I'm being focused. Half these people aren't even on my friends list. Time to defend last. Build in the usual spot. So I got to show up, no spots whatsoever. That's a spice scout, I'm pretty. Oh, hi! Hi, how you doing? You back again? Cool. I'm being killed up there as well. I'm body shot. I have a level one. Hooray. That guy's probably dead. Oh, good. Time to die again. So, uh. If anybody wants to, like, let me know how to be good at this game, I'm taking suggestions. <laughs> uh, I'll get footage of second and third later. I'm not going out that way. There's a guy with a direct hit in the window, because, you know, fuck you to the nth power. Might be able to get level 2 here from quick. If it doesn't shoot. 
You're shooting at the wrong guy. Unless there's a spy behind me. Which there isn't. That guy had overheal. They have a medic. And they popped. Hey, birdie. Nor me. Stop body blocking my rescue ranger shots, you asshole. Okay, don't then. This game's fun. I love when Uber Backburner Pyros just run at you. While oh, your team's busy jacking it elsewhere. I'll build uh, a lower area, I think, in my other spot. Actually, I won't, because they've got direct hit guys in the window. Lost to spooch. <laughs> Whatever. This is going about as well as I'd expect it to. So we've got two decent engineers by lots of things. Not missing the wrench swing, so we're here all week. Ideally I want to get the teleporter thing set up in a minute. So I don't get completely destroyed. Seems like a team's put forward a decent defense. So I might be able to use this as much as your defensive uh, form. They are coming in hard. Wrangled mini. And that worked about as well as I thought it would. That's Australian. You're dead. Thank you, base to the sentry. I'm just the base sentry, apparently. We need to get that telegram. I can't see his sentry, sadly. Might be doing that. He's got the rank on. Hey, I think he got back stuff. Hello, Spy. Oh. Yeah, bro. Can't say I didn't. He's dead wrong, I think. Teleport, uh, exit. Oh, really? This shit again? Oh, I brought my tele on, that's all. I love it when there's just guys standing in the stairwell spamming. Say the least. Not a spy. You're an ass. Have to rotate. Oh, you're good. Must be nice to be a streamer and have pocket medics out the waz. Uh, I'd call this over because everybody on our team is a fucking pro. It's not even a legitimate. That's not even a lie. You've got Twitch, Chief Fargo, all of them. Just really good players. I suppose I'll keep this as footage of fourth and first, maybe. This will have to do. There's no engineers. This will have to do. I can make work. this work. I've got to get to first though quickly. Hopefully we don't get completely wiped. Come on, fellas. I'll build my gun a little bit closer to the uh, usual spot. Incoming. Good, he's paying no attention. Get this up to level one. Hey boys, it's a spy. You stole my metal. No, you didn't. Good night, I'll take this quickly because I need a metal. Hit this while I wait.
move this. Really, really need to move this. Really, really need to upgrade all this shit. Upgraded. This is a defense for the first point, generally. Another roll just hit the sentry, not give a shit. I'm just gonna spam pills up here. Things hitting now. Don't build! Oh, mini, really, right next to mine. So pointless. So painfully pointless. Building right next to my shit. Not where the spy is, I don't care where the spy is. Sapping wants it. Might only get first point here. So yeah, it looks like we're only getting footage for this point. These soldiers are too good. I think this is just gonna be footage of first. Flip-flopping on team. Gotta move that gear up. Mission begins in six. Can't even seconds. hit F two. I think I've hit F two. Come on, fellas. Of course, we have three engineers and three spies. This is probably gonna roll on their benefit, but we still get to build this stuff. Up. Okay. Going up. And next level's Gold Rush, so... I suppose I'll take this, and that spy decided to take my metal. Like a nice guy. Mission begins in 30 seconds. So this is gonna be super slow. And there goes the metal. Don't, please. For the love of God, have mercy. Or engineering so I might just have to use the, the original footage I did. Or we got completely waffle stomped. But Five, four, so this is a complete three, round. Two, one. It's gonna be a test on that one through the soldiers come over that cliff. Not spy. Not sure if this thing is actually killing people or other people. I really need to get this level two. 
Doesn't matter what you like, I need the 200 though. Move out. Have that. Incoming. Soldiers coming. Mini in an odd spot. Incoming. And there's crits. He's dead, but there's crits. So there goes my gun. Wasn't expecting a crits, Krieg. I don't think anybody was. My stuff's still up. Potentially bring a sentry through the thingy, but I doubt it'll stay up long. No, this guy's gonna completely destroy the lot of it. Yeah, it's completely wiped me for a second now. Unless they're already there. They'll probably already be here. There's no way they can be behind us in this behind area yet. So I can get roof if I'm quick. Should have picked up that metal box. It's gonna be a disadvantage to me. Invest the 70. Gotta do this quick. I shouldn't have bothered with that dispenser. This isn't gonna be good enough. I really shouldn't have bothered with that dispenser. Can you me this? Can you me it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, level 2. They're coming up the back stairs, I believe I can hear them. Now, super. Now, I've just got to try and survive this. Which I'm probably not going to. Oh, nope, they lived. But they got an Uber. Help this guy out. And best the remaining of them out. Stay long enough. They just took roof with an easy pile of Uber there. I did get out, though. That roof spot is so very hard to hold if they get on it quick. We have four engineers. Can't keep that up. There's so much spam coming from roof. Once I get sniped here, I can keep this up forever. Oh, that's gonna hang up. This won't hold. We'll come around the corner and just destroy us. I fell. Now it's a jump and do it. Making it even more awkward. I'm gonna run out of bolts in a second. I'll keep it up for now. But I'm gonna run out of bolts and backing up. I need to back off. This spy is gonna be already in the loft waiting for me, which is gonna be a real pain in the arse. The enemy has There's no way I'm going to hold third. The spy's are already up here. Boo. you got Diamond back as well. Boy oh boy. Three crits. This is not going to be up quick enough to even shoot over the lip, I don't think. It's only level one, it's going to take ages. Yeah. We're already at heavies on the cart track. The medics are already spawning into the window. Oops, by the honey. Got with the wrench and I'm dead. Yep, this is a completely clipping complete and total ruffle stomp again. Um I don't know which one to include, I'll just throw in both. Just do a long video of me getting completely destroyed, because these sentry spots don't work if you don't have decent teammates or not three engineers, but we have three engineers, because three engineers. Strats man, get three engineers, win no games. But I've been trying to do this for like the last two or three hours, so I'm not in the mood to try and keep doing it. No, let's not restart the map, I've almost done the fourth point. Don't build next to me, for the love of God, I'll call Buff Bun. Back off slowly while rescue rangering. They've got a heavy Uber coming in, there's a soldier in the window. This level 1's got a hold against the heavy. There's level 2 there though. Oh cool, I got hit by a flare. Well, I'm dead. So our strategy for this map was get four engineers and not win any games because we have four engineers. But, you know. There's no way we're stopping this. He's on a 20 streak. Because soldiers are hard class. Remember that kid. Soldiers are hard class. But seriously, we're fucking done. Um, just do this. So in summary, um, never play engineer. It's the worst class in the game. But seriously, you need a team that can support you, and I did not have that, because we had three engineers. And obviously I contributed to the problem, but there's a map change, of course. But that's your example why 4 Domination's 20 kill streak just doesn't die. It's all just... Um, those sentry spots are good, it's just a case of uh, actually not getting completely and totally leveled.
if you want to see me do better, it's probably worth subscribing because I have held points a lot better than that. And Gold Rush is terrible, and I'm not playing Gold Rush. Um, other than that, yeah, just hang about, and maybe one day I'll do good at Badwater. But that was not a good example of it, particularly. Um. I'll put these two back to back. I don't know which order they'll be in, so you'll either see me getting ruffle stomped by a Twitch streamer in the first part or this part. I don't know which. I'm just going to combine these two, and you can see sort of a small fraction of the effectiveness of these sentry spots. But if you've got any experience with TF2, you'll have, you'll know that the bad water roof is nightmarish. It just seems to be that in the last games that I played, everybody was either incredibly competent or they had medics out the waz, which completely counters sentries pretty much. Um, I'm going to stop rambling because all I'm doing is sitting on the main menu screen. I uh, hope you enjoy this. I hope it helps to some extent. The spots I've shown are decent, I do promise you. They're not terrible. It just requires a team to be built around you, and generally they're pretty good. But, you know, you just have these games that you don't get lucky with, and I've been trying for about four hours to try and get the footage. So, uh, And I've had various sort of map changes and stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. And I will probably do, I don't know what map next, maybe a payload, probably who do a gold rush. No, um, I don't know about those two. I don't know what map to do next, to be honest. All right, Colin here. See ya. I guess what? I was going to do defense, but it's time for a map change. Da -da 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 -da. <sighs>